Like, whose reality do we want to see? Whose reality do we feel comfortable and do we feel is palatable for us to digest on a regular basis? What is the real Uganda? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we're all about value adding content for you to live a fulfilled and authentic life. Welcome back to a new year. I feel like I'm just going to keep saying that in January. I have no idea when we stop, but let's just keep rolling. <laughs> Given this new year, one thing I wanted to start doing was something I did back in, I feel like it was around COVID time. Yeah, really when this, uh, not channel started kicking off, but really when my move to Uganda um, happened and I just used to sit and chit chat with you guys. It often happened on live, but I want to kind of just be able to do this and we can chat in the comments. Maybe we'll go back to live one day, but for now, let's just get back into KB's and Chai. So we talk about various different topics related to Africa, the diaspora, really what, what's happening and what's going on, whatever we want to talk about during this week. <laughs> As you guys can tell, I miss just chatting to a camera and interacting with you guys more often. I love vlogging, but there's just something about actually showing up on my channel for you guys on a regular basis, especially when I find it very difficult to find business features on a regular basis to showcase for you guys. So let's not ramble too much you could probably tell by the title what today's topic is all about so let's get into it all right so granted it's a new year I figured let's just sit and chit chat about if I live in a different Uganda so I feel like <laughs> ever since I started vlogging regularly what uh, my move so four years ago I would get so many comments even from family friends family members people on YouTube people in the comments people who follow me, people who don't, just that like the Uganda I live in is very different than the Uganda that I guess they're used to, which granted, I technically understand that perspective. I mean, it's not like Africa in general is beautifully portrayed abroad to people. Um, I actually, <laughs> random example, but when I was in Canada last year, the two months when I was there, immediately when I touched down in the airport, all of the ads that were showing up on my Instagram were of starving children. I was like, what is this? I don't see any of these ads when I'm in Uganda. It's very weird. It's so, so, so weird. But obviously it's for donations and to support and whatever. But now that I live here, oh, actually we're gonna talk about that on another day. Child, that's for another day, another topic for another day about NGOs and organizations and anyway, anyway. Yeah, there was just bombarded with so much imagery of literally starving children with tubes in their faces in hospitals, dying, skinny, flies, the usual. And I just felt like that's really weird, but I, obviously I can see why. But what was so surprising with my move in the last four years was a lot of the feedback from pe people who are Ugandan and um, maybe they had left a while ago. And I just love hearing about like the fact that A, they watch my channel. So many of my family, friends, or people that um, they know who watch my channel, seeing the positive feedback that I get from them, of them being like, wow, like this isn't a Uganda they were used to. It's not a Uganda that they left. And a lot of the places I frequent isn't a Uganda that they're used to even when they're here. So what ends up happening to a lot of people in the diaspora when they come, um, when it's visiting, you're here, maybe Maybe if you're fortunate enough that you come every year, um, you'll come for short periods of time. So maybe it's four weeks, maybe you'll try and extend it to six, but you know, there's caps on how much time you can take off abroad from your job. So consequently, when they're here, it's just bombarded with so many things that you have to do in a short span of time. So for example, my mom, um, when she comes, like the last time she came last year, I'm so proud of her that she's now doing a yearly thing. So proud. But anyway, it's always like family, land, business, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, that by the time you've done everything and you haven't really done everything, your time is up. And then you're like, okay, let me come back next year. For those of you who are fortunate who live in the UK, who can just come on a whim's notice and the time difference is nothing, must be nice. <laughs> but us in Canada and the US, that's just not the case. I remember when I used to dream about six months in Uganda and six months in uh, North America, I was pretty much on crack. That was, that, that'll that happen when you're in like your retirement years of your business and it doesn't need you every single day, but realistically, it's just not a thing. Yeah, I got a lot of comments and 
a lot of feedback that I live in a different Uganda. And I think one of the funniest comments that I ever got that stuck out to me to this day, to this day, is one of my uncles that lives here. And um, he was like, you've been to more of Uganda than your dad. And my dad lives here, he goes back and forth. But like, literally he's just frequents Kampala in, in our village area. And then that's pretty much as far as it goes. <laughs> Yeah, there's so much beauty to see and so much to see. And I know that personally, no matter where I lived in this world, just how I am as Rachel, burst from the womb of my mother, that no matter where I live in this world, I like nice things. I'm so sorry, I like nice things. So the Uganda that I portray is my reality. So now on a flip side of more of the negative comments that I would get in the beginning and even now, to sometimes I'll get comments from people who live in Uganda of like, we'll show the real Uganda, but unfortunately for everybody, first of all, just generally in life, your reality is your reality. Everyone's reality is gonna be completely different. You could even make the same income as someone else and your reality will still be different. So what I show you, is what I do and where I frequent and that's my reality. So when I would get those comments and especially when I was sharing a lot of, like you guys at this point would have seen my cost of living video, um, when I showcase all of these various different videos where it's like financially putting out my putting myself out there so that people can see like, first of all, A, don't get ripped off because you're either a Musama or like you've moved here and <laughs> just, you have an accent and it never do just doesn't want to leave you. So people want to take advantage or just people who also like, there's so many people that live here that don't know the real price of things. Like it's just crazy with the access to the internet. I'm an internet junkie. Me, I, I don't overpay for things. It's never going to happen in this life that I live. <laughs> Anyway, so I'd get a lot of comments about, um, yeah, like just show the real Uganda. Why don't you show the real Uganda? And I do understand maybe the real part of it being like the majority of Ugandans and what that reality looks like, but it would be so inauthentic for me to even, of course showing that is very okay, but to pretend as if I live that, that doesn't make any sense. Do you get what I mean? And that goes for anybody like where most people who live in the city are already fortunate in comparison to the majority of the country that lives outside of Kampala and like rural areas. People in the city across the board are way more fortunate than those people. So even still, it's like, that's not their reality, right? So it's like, whose reality do we want to see? Whose reality do we feel comfortable and do we feel is palatable for us to digest on a regular basis? And I think that's really what it was. Like, what is the real Uganda? And that, and that across the board can, it doesn't matter. You can live in North America, you can live in Europe, you can live wherever, but like what is the real version of wherever it is that you live? So I just feel like no matter what, I'll always just stick to being like the authentic version of myself. <laughs> I feel like that's the solution to said problem of showing the real Uganda. I'll always just show whatever it is that I'm doing in the moment. Of course, as much as I like, like and love nice things, I'm not here on jets and helicopters, I wish. And then the moment that becomes a reality, I will show it. <laughs> That's very okay. And if I fall in the pits and life is just struggling, although you guys know I like positivity, I like to highlight positivity. And then if there's negative stuff, I don't like to come on here on social media and complain. I don't feel like when you turn on or open social media, you wanna go and you already lived your life, you're already going through it and you turn it on to see someone else complaining. It's nice to relate, you know, sometimes misery likes company, but not all the time, this is not that. So sometimes you'll see my vlogs, sometimes I'll be going through it and I'm like, bruh, I am going through it. Like I just can't. So that'll always be the case, but to show the real Uganda, I don't even know what that means. And I will always just continue to show whatever it is that you see on a regular basis. So at the end of the day, the goal of my channel and I think life in general is I think that people should just see things as if you want to share, that's great. I feel like life would be so weird if you didn't share whether whatever it is that you've learned. It should always be like value addition. Like how are you, how is someone leaving the space around you better? Like when they leave, how are they elevated? Are they feeling better or are they feeling depleted? If they're feeling depleted, child, like, therapy I don't know that's beyond me <laughs> you got to check yourself in a different department but generally speaking it really should be value addition 
And on a regular basis, I just think people should just realize that someone's reality is someone's reality. And if someone just wants to be Delulu, that's someone's Delulu, and that's okay, leave them. <laughs> that's their thing. But I never fake it. I try very hard to just show regularly what the real Uganda is. So just to close this video, recently I was in an Uber. Actually, it's like maybe like the second or third time someone mentioned this. So an Uber driver, as you guys know, my usual antics on those apps, uh, was dropping me home and he was like, oh, um, oh, your accent, where is it from? I thought you'd be white. I get that all the time. I'm like, child, do you watch TV? They're African, it's black people speak sound so different around the world. Some have French accents, some have English accents, some sound like me. So like you can live in the same country and have different accents. People in rural Canada and rural America sound completely different. There's Southern American accents, East, West, whatever. There's so many different things. Anyway, so he was like, oh, okay. So then strikes up conversation. Where did you grow up? Okay, now you live here, great. Um, he's like, can you even cook? I was like, child, these, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what people think, another topic for another day, what people think of Canada or North America. I think they think it's like what people here who have money are like, but on steroids. And I'm like, child, a reality check. I wish there, I wish I had a maid in Canada. Oh, I, do you think I would have left? No, I would have left. But like, realistically. We, yeah. So anyway, to conclude everything, I really just think that people just need to really focus on their own thing and stop thinking so much of, or looking so much about what other people are doing and just realize like when you're looking for to relocate or you're looking for more information, understand that that's someone's particular reality and they're going to give you as much information as they can if they want to and then you take pieces from it. Take what's relevant to you and what works for you. Anyway, that was my little chit chat today about the real Uganda and <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> You guys comment below what you guys think of what the real Uganda is and as much as I'm laughing to some people that really can be an annoying thing and who knows I don't know but leave a comment below don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell notification button please do remember to share this video with anyone who you feel like feels what I'm talking about in this and um, can relate and if not that's all good too I'll check you guys in my next video bye guys